How you doing, Bullbarker? Today, we're gonna to talk about tape measures and why you don't need but one. And if you have two, it could ruin your project. Let's talk. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731bullbarks.com. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about why one tape measure is all you need. You shouldn't have more than that. Of course, you can have more than that laying around in case you lose one, but you need one. And you need to stick with that one. Let me show you why. You ever heard the term that no two snowflakes are alike? That's exactly how tape measures are. No two are alike. You should not be using more than one tape measure on a single project. Here's why. I have three tape measures here. I have a, a fast cap flat one. I have a Stanley power lock. And then I have the most awesome tape measure I have ever used. The Kamuk, the Kamil, Kam, Kamalin, the Kamalin 16 foot. This is my favorite tape measure I've ever owned. I like this. I bought it on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description if you're interested. The reason I love it so much is it because it has this, the blade insets into the structure of it. The problem with these, problem with these Stanleys and other tape measures like this is when you drop them, like I drop them all the time, it lands on the face. So there's a really good reason why you only want to use one tape measure per project. It's because no two are alike. So what you're gonna run into if you try to use more than one, you have one on your workbench and one at your saw, is they're not exactly right. All right let's look at these two. They're hooked on the exact same place on the end of the table down there as you can see. We'll go just to two feet, 24 inches. This is off more than a 16th from each other. So this tape right here, the Kamalin tape measure versus the Stanley, we're at 24 and a 16th on this one. So there's almost a 1 8 inch difference between the Kamalin and the Stanley. That's hooked on the end of the table at the same spot, just at two feet. That's a significant difference, especially if you're building bigger projects. They're still hooked at the same place. Arrgh. At 54 inches, they're still off about a 16th of an inch. So this is 54 and a 16th on this one. So now we add another variable in here if we're using three tape measures. This is the fast cap flat tape, so it lays flat, it doesn't have that concave thing to it, which is a really nice tape to have. It's harder to use in my opinion when you start trying to measure things from a distance. So if you look at 54 inches on this one, you see that it is uh, a little over a 16th off because it's between the 7 eighths and 5 sixteenths of an inch from this one. And if compared to the Stanley, the Stanley is at, on the fast cap, it's at just over a 16th of an inch more than the fast cap at 54. So it's actually measuring uh, a little over 54 and a 16th. So now really quick, uh, one of the great things about this co-milling is the fact that it has measurements on both sides. I really like that fact. And that way you can always be able to see your measurements. It's a wide tape. I like that it's wider. It's about an inch wide. Uh, again, I like that that blade sets up in there and it's not gonna ever get bent when I drop it a hundred times. It also has a real rugged rubber structure around it. So when I drop it, it doesn't break the inside of the tape. And then of course it has a standard tape lock like that and then a belt clip. I mean, it's a pretty standard tape measure. It's just really rugged and it works extremely well. Now the fast cap has its uses, uh, the, mainly uh, as a flat tape. That flat tape allows you to have it flat on the surface so you get that precise measurement every single time because you're not fighting that concave of a regular tape measure that has that, it's bent uh, like this kind of washed out. So you have to actually bend the tape measure over and hold it there, which is normally not a problem, but in some situations it is. It's just harder to get in there uh, to that. And back to the old use one tape measure, you can see that the fast cap is off uh, from the regular. The fast cap is only one side. Also the fast cap is more plastic than rubber, uh, so it's not near as rigid as the co-melon, but it does have a pencil sharpener uh, built in. So which tape measure do I think is the one to rule them all? I've already told you this is my favorite by far. The fast cap flat tape is my second favorite, although I rarely use it because when it's extended out, a lot of times when you're working on a project, you'll extend your tape out and hold it against the edge of the board or the edge of the piece of furniture or whatever you're building, pull it to the other end. Well, this one is like, trying to hold out a piece of cooked spaghetti and get a measurement with it. I mean, it's just, 
like that. Whereas we got a regular tape measure will hold its structure uh, up to several feet out. The fast cap also has a good feature where the blade is protected. Uh, the reason I don't use these Stanleys anymore, these standard type, I think the Fat Max actually is a little better built, but these kind, these cheapos, is when they fall and hit that blade, it just bends it in and you can't use it anymore because now your measurements are always gonna be off because that blade is forever bent. I threw several of those away when I first started before I went out and spent, I don't know, 15 or $20 on this comelin. Co-melon. I like co-melon. Let's call it a co-melon. I drop one. So I drop them all the time. So links to the description below to the fast cap flat tape as well as the co-melon. I know it's not co-melon. I just like the way it sounds. So I think it's pretty obvious that the co-melon is the one tape to rule them all. It's Lord of the Tapes. So there you go. Co-melon. Check that link in the description below. Go check you one of these out. I think they're one of the better tapes out there. If you have a suggestion for a better tape than this, drop a comment down there and let me know which one you're using and which one you like the best and why you like it. I'll go check them out. Let's do it. So if you're using more than one tape measure and your projects are coming out unsquare and all wompy jawed, that may be the reason why. You're using two tape measures, one at the saw, one at the workbench, and when you start putting everything together, when you, when you take your measurements at the workbench, and then you go and measure it with a different measure at your saw, it comes out different. Even if it's a 16th or an eighth, for as far as square goes, that could be a huge deal. So use one tape measure. That's my tip for you today. Hey, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, click that box right there. It takes you to the next set of videos. If you click that box, you know you're getting that big old virtual fist bump. You can also click this box here. It's another one of my favorites. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up for me. I hope you found this useful.